In this tutorial, you'll learn how to customize the bullet points on your Squarespace website. We're going to use just a little bit of custom code to replace that standard bullet point character with our own symbol. We'll also change the color just in case you want to make it a little more unique. I'm Becca from Inside the Square, and as always, the codes I'm about to share with you are listed directly underneath this video, but without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to use them. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and on the right-hand side of my screen in my site preview here, I have a bullet point list with first items, then second level, and then third level items. We're going to be adjusting all of those with custom CSS. All the codes I'm about to share with you are listed underneath this video, and to add them to our site, we're going to navigate to Pages, and then select Custom Code and Custom CSS. Now, if your site doesn't look like this, press the forward slash key on your keyboard to search for your CSS panel so you can navigate there directly. Now, the first code I want to share with you will change the symbol of all of these bullet points to a unique character. I'm going to copy this code, and here in my custom CSS, I'll paste the code, and instantly, we'll see that all of those bullet points have updated to match this unique arrow symbol. This symbol is what's known as a Unicode character, and there are a lot of them. On my website at insidethesquare.co forward slash Unicode, you'll find a list of Unicode characters that work within Squarespace. Now, be advised that not all of these are compatible with every font that is out there. Yours might look a little different depending upon what font that they use, but I've added all of the most common symbols here that work with Squarespace and put them into sections like arrows, squares, circles, and more. Some of them have unique colors, and some of them are interesting shapes. You've got a lot to work from. Now back here inside Squarespace, let's talk about changing the bullet point for the second level and third level as well. Because we have so many Unicode characters to work with, we should mix it up a little. The code for changing the second level looks like this. I'm going to add this as a new line of code, and instantly, you'll see we have a unique arrow for second level and third level. This code told the computer browser that anything lower than the first level should get this symbol instead. So we need to change the third level separately as well. I'm going to copy this code and paste it here in my custom CSS. And now we have a unique arrow for every single item. Pretty awesome, right? To make these even more unique, I also like to change the color. We can do this separately for each level or change all of them together. I'll go ahead and copy this color code, and you'll notice this part right here matches the very first part we've added. So if I add a semicolon here and say we're going to change the content and we're going to change the color, all of the bullet points have now been updated to that new color. Let's go ahead and change the second level as well, but instead of the shade of blue, how about we make it green? And for our third option here, instead of changing it to that shade of blue, let's go ahead and make it purple. There we go. Now we have a unique color and a unique symbol for each level of our bullet point. Before we call this tutorial a wrap, I do want to address something that I get asked a lot, and that is how do I change one block at a time? How do I apply this code to only one thing on my Squarespace website? And that, my friend, is to use the block ID. If you have multiple blocks of text with bullet points on your website, and let's say you only want this one on light blue to have these unique colors and symbols, we can use the block ID to make sure that's the only one that changes. There's a free Chrome extension that I love to use. I'll turn it on right now, and you'll find it linked directly underneath this video. This Chrome extension displays the block IDs, the unique number for a piece of content on your Squarespace website. This lets me quickly grab the block ID, and I'll turn off the extension. And back here in my code, if I add that unique block ID before each one of my selectors, you'll notice that only this set of bullet points is getting our unique changes. The other set of bullet points or the other blocks of text have returned to their original state. Personally, I like the consistency of having all of my bullet points get the unique style and unique colors, so I rarely use that, but I thought it was a good trick to know. And again, you'll find a link to that Chrome extension underneath this video. However you decide to customize your bullet points, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find the codes that we just used in this tutorial and links to additional resources in case you want to learn more about how to customize your Squarespace website with code. I'm Becca from Inside the Square, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and let me know in the comments. And if there's something else you'd like to learn how to customize about your Squarespace website, let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for tutorial ideas, and I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Good news, Squarespacer. 
we finally have an AI that truly understands Squarespace. Meet Custom Cody. Built specifically for Squarespace users and trained on every nuance of the program, Custom Cody is your AI-powered assistant for effortless, expert-level Squarespace customization. Available now at customcody.com.